No more homeless veterans. That's the latest promise from Chattanooga Mayor Andy Burke. But what would that mean for the city, for veterans, and how those veterans are responding? As Alyssa Sprato explains, Mayor Andy Burke signed an executive order this afternoon that begins that process. I promise you this. Uh, last night I spoke to over 500 people at the state of the city, and um, I said we're going to end, not we're going to try, I said, we're going to end chronic veteran homelessness by December 2016. We don't stand up and say that unless we're going to mean it. Mayor Burke held a roundtable about how he plans to accomplish his goal by 2016. What I'm going to do at the end of this uh, thing is, uh, at the end of this roundtable is sign this executive order, which creates a task force. But it's local veterans like Ronnie Barclay who want to know, how will this affect them? And can Mayor Andy Burke make it happen? Barclay says he enlisted in the Marine Corps because he wanted the ultimate challenge. But he ended up with a bigger challenge when he left the military. I was, I was homeless like, you know, for like six years. You know what I mean? You know, because uh, different relationships, uh, poor choices, things of that nature. But Barclay says he knew the first step to end his homeless situation was up to him. Before he signed that, I got in out the rain, okay? So, um, like I said, it's, it's up to the individual. Alyssa Sperato, News Channel 9. And Mayor Burke says over the next few weeks, they'll put together the task force, which will consist of business leaders, community leaders, and of course, veterans. The task force will then spend the next few months studying the problem and will present a plan to the mayor.